Travel Robot Presence Here is the list of top 10 things to do in Wyoming. The Wild West comes alive in Wyoming. It's one of the most sparsely populated states in the U.S. and a land of rugged landscapes, rich tribal legend, rodeos, ranches, cowboy towns, and some of the world's great wilderness areas. Yellowstone National Park, with its geothermal wonders, together with spectacular Grand Teton National Park, make up one of the largest intact temperate zone ecosystems on the planet. Both parks are home to an astounding diversity of wildlife, from grizzlies and golden eagles to wolves, elk, moose, bison, and black bears. And these stunning national parks draw the biggest crowds to the state. Here is the list of 10 things to do in Wyoming. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Let's start the video. Here is Number 1. Yellowstone National Park Established in 1872, Yellowstone is the world's first and oldest national park. It's home to one of the most awe-inspiring wilderness areas on the planet. Huge herds of bison still roam free in the valleys, and the abundant wildlife includes grizzly and black bears, gray wolves, elk, antelope, trumpeter swans, and majestic bald eagles. The park is a geothermal wonderland. Hissing geysers, bubbling mud pots, and steaming hot springs betray the forces that formed this staggering landscape millions of years ago. Waterfalls gush down steep ravines, and glittering lakes and rivers stretch for miles. The highlights of Yellowstone National Park include the famous Old Faithful Geyser, Yellowstone Lake, and the jaw-dropping cascades of Lower Falls. You can drive through the park, but the huge network of hiking trails is the best way to appreciate the park's diverse ecosystems. It's easy to extend a wilderness experience by staying in one of the park's scenic campgrounds. The park is one of the best places to visit in Wyoming. Sightseeing is excellent year-round, with each season painting the landscape in different hues, but most tourists visit in the summer. Number 2. Grand Teton National Park Crowned by the craggy peaks of the mighty Teton Mountain Range, Grand Teton National Park is one of the jewels of Wyoming. These mountains in the state's northwest were formed millions of years ago, when a fault in the Earth's crust buckled, creating 12 peaks reaching heights of more than 12,000 feet. The highest of these, Grand Teton, soars 13,770 feet above sea level. Wildlife is abundant. More than 300 species of birds, 60 species of mammals, and many freshwater fish live within the park. Not surprisingly, the park is a paradise for wildlife lovers, photographers, climbers, kayakers, and hikers. The best way to explore the spectacular scenery is by hiking the many trails and staying overnight in the campgrounds. Summer is by far the busiest season to visit and is the only time the high mountain hiking trails are completely free of snow. But spring and fall are also lovely times to visit, with fewer crowds. Some of the roads and access points close during the winter months. Number 3. Jackson Tucked in a sprawling valley at the foot of the spectacular Teton Mountains, Jackson, Wyoming exudes the spirit of the Wild West. Rustic wooden buildings and boardwalks, quaint shops, galleries and restaurants add to the charm of this charismatic town. And the town square framed by Elkhorn arches is hard to miss. Jackson is also the gateway to beautiful Grand Teton National Park and a popular stop on the way to Yellowstone. Bordering town, the National Elk Refuge protects the largest herd of wintering elk in the world. In season, you can ride horse-drawn sleighs into the refuge to view these gentle creatures up close. Camouflaged in a rocky hillside just south of town, the National Museum of Wildlife Art is another top attraction, with more than 4,000 paintings and many rotating exhibits. Number 4. Hot Springs State Park, Thermopolis Built around the world's largest single mineral hot spring, Hot Springs State Park is a great place to stop for a relaxing soak. The steaming mineral water gushing from Big Spring is channeled into bathhouses and kept at a constant 104 degrees Fahrenheit. You can soak in the warm waters indoors at the state bathhouse or in the two outdoor pools. Also in the area are hiking trails, petroglyphs, summer flower gardens, and the Rainbow Terrace, where water from another stream tumbles into the Bighorn River. Look for the herd of bison grazing in the hills. Number 5. Bridger Teton National Forest 
In the beautiful Bridger Teton National Forest, outdoor enthusiasts can explore more than 3.4 million acres of western Wyoming's rugged mountain wilderness. Within the forest's boundaries lie three wilderness areas. The Bridger Wilderness in the Wind River Mountains is home to the headwaters of the Green River, some of the world's largest glaciers, and Wyoming's highest point, Gannett Peak. The Teton Wilderness provides critical habitat for wildlife such as grizzlies, wolves, and bison, and the Groves Venter Wilderness encompasses fascinating geological features. In 1925, the Groves Venter Slide carved down a mountainside, creating Lower Slide Lake. You can still see evidence of the slide today. Crisscrossed by miles of trails, the entire region is excellent for hiking, hunting, fishing, ski touring, and mountaineering. Number 6. The Buffalo Bill Center of the West, Cody The Buffalo Bill Center of the West retraces an important chapter of American history in a complex of five fascinating museums. In the Buffalo Bill Museum, you can view artifacts from the life of Buffalo Bill Cody, the legendary American soldier and showman. The Cody Firearms Museum contains a large collection of firearms from around the world. Wyoming wildlife and geology are the main themes of the Draper Museum of Natural History. And you can learn about the culture of the prairie's first inhabitants at the Plains Indian Museum through exhibits and a multimedia show. In addition to all these historical exhibits and artifacts, the center offers a treat for art lovers. At the Whitney Gallery of Western Art, works by Frederick Remington, Charles Russell, and George Catlin continue the Wild West theme. Near the center are the rodeo grounds, where some of the best cowboys in the Wild West perform in the summer. Number 8. The Wind River Range Looking for the spectacular alpine scenery of Grand Teton National Park or Yellowstone without the crowds? Head to the Wind River Range in western Wyoming. Its 2.25 million acres encompass seven of the largest glaciers in the lower 48 states. Lush meadows dappled with wildflowers, glacier-carved valleys, snow-capped peaks, and thousands of sparkling trout-filled waterways, including the headwater for the Green River. No wonder it's a haven for hiking, hunting, fishing, camping, and climbing. Number 7. Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area Named for the area's striking red sandstone cliffs, Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area stretches from Green River, Wyoming, south, and into Utah. Fed by the waters of the Green River, Flaming Gorge Reservoir is a popular spot for boating, fishing, swimming, camping, and kayaking. Adventure seekers can also raft the area of the Green River downstream from Flaming Gorge Dam. Perched above the canyon, the Red Canyon Vista and Visitor Center offers impressive views of the gorge. From the Visitor Center, the canyon rim trail threads along the lip of the canyon, with lookouts along the way. In addition to the colorful rock formations, some of the rock walls display petroglyphs, and prehistoric fossils are often found in the area. Number 8. The Wind River Range Looking for the spectacular alpine scenery of Grand Teton National Park or Yellowstone without the crowds? Head to the Wind River Range in western Wyoming. Its 2.25 million acres encompass seven of the largest glaciers in the lower 48 states. Lush meadows dappled with wildflowers, glacier-carved valleys, snow-capped peaks, and thousands of sparkling trout-filled waterways, including the headwater for the Green River. No wonder it's a haven for hiking, hunting, fishing, camping, and climbing. Hikers, in particular, will be in heaven here. More than 600 miles of trails radiate through the region, including part of the Continental Divide Scenic National Trail, which runs from Canada to Mexico. The 80-mile stretch, though this region ascends to an elevation of 11,000 feet, and is best hiked during August and September, when the trails are most likely to be free of snow. Keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. This is grizzly country, but you can also see moose, mountain lions, deer, elk, wolves, and hundreds of different species of birds. The Wind River Range is also one of the best fly fishing destinations in Wyoming. Anglers can catch many species of trout, as well as grayling and mackinaw, in the crystal clear streams and rivers. Rock climbers come here to scale the granite peaks, including the famous Cirque of the Towers in the southern region of the range. Number 9. Grand Targhee Ski Resort If you hate standing in lines and paying exorbitant prices for lift tickets, Grand Targhee Ski Resort is a hot pick for your next Wyoming ski vacation. About a 90-minute drive from Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, 
this family-friendly resort on the western slopes of the Tetons is a much cheaper option than its famous sister resort, with way fewer people. Snowfall here averages an impressive 500 plus inches of light, fluffy powder, with 2,270 feet of vertical access by five lifts. You'll find trails for all abilities here, but intermediate skiers are especially well served, with more than 70% of the terrain classified as suitable for them. Other amenities include two terrain parks, snowshoeing, and Nordic trails. Backcountry skiers and snowboarders can also sign up for Wyoming's only cat skiing, and private snowcat skiing is also available. Number 10 National Historic Trails Interpretive Center, Casper. The National Historic Trails Interpretive Center is more than a museum. It's an interactive experience recreating the old pioneer trails and their important role in American history. One of the top things to do in Casper, Wyoming. The museum is well worth a couple of hours of your time. Full-scale dioramas and multimedia presentations tell the story of Wyoming's first settlers, the mountain men and fur trappers, the Oregon Trail, the Mormon Trail, the California Trail, and the Pony Express route. All the exhibits are in chronological order, which makes visiting this museum feel like a journey through time. This is one of the best Wyoming attractions for families who want to learn about the country's history. Kids can climb in the back of a covered wagon, experience a simulated river crossing, and watch movies that highlight personal stories of the pioneers. Best of all, admission is free. That's all for today. So, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for upcoming amazing and informative.